Okay, I know this is old news already, but I thought I'd mention it. If you go to this EU site here, and I'll include a link in the description below, you can create huge translation memories in any language pair chosen from 23 supported languages. And in this video, I will show you how to do it. So first you need to go to this link here, and here you can download several zip files. There are 28 of them, and they are about 100 megabytes each. You have to do it one by one. It will take some time, of course, because they are quite big, but once you've done that, you will have your files here, like uh, I have in my case. I created uh, a folder called uh, DGT on my desktop, and under that another folder called zip. And here I have uh, 28 zip files, and if I look at it, they take 2.2 uh, gigabytes of disk space. Next, you need to download two other files. One is the program files, and it's called uh, tmextract.exe. And uh, with it, there's a library that you can also download. And uh, again, I've done that already. So they are in my DGT folder here. And uh, now I'm basically ready to go. So I can start uh, the program tmextract.exe. The interface is very simple. It looks like this. So I'll start by selecting the input files. And these are the files I downloaded, which are in the zip folder. I'll select all of them with Ctrl A and open. Next, I'll specify an output file, and this is going to be the TMX translation memory I want to create. So I will put it in the DGT folder, and I will call it DGT and FI-SL, because I want to create a Finnish Slovenian translation memory. Save. And now I'll select the source language, so that will be Suomi for Finnish. And the target language is Slovenian, so it's this one. And now all I have to do is press the Start button. Now this is going to take a very long time, several hours even with the fast computer, so it's best to launch it in the evening and hopefully the next morning it will be ready. So now we'll make a pause and uh, we'll come back once it's uh, ready. Okay, so now our TMX translation memory is uh, ready. It's uh, quite big, 1.3 gigabytes almost. And uh, basically we can use it in any tool that supports the TMX uh, format and uh, there are many of them. And here I'll use WordFast Classic to show you the content of this file. Uh, instead of uh, converting the TMX with WordFast itself, I will use the WordFast converter uh, because it's much faster. I have made a video about uh, this converter earlier on. I will uh, give you the link in the description field below. And uh, you will find also where to download this converter if you need to use it. So let's start WordFast Converter. I need to specify the source file, so that will be my TMX. And I will choose TMX here, and that's this one. And now the destination file will be uh, a file with the TXT extension, that will be a WordFast TM. So now I will start the process. And it will take maybe a couple of minutes. So again, we'll make a pause and come back once it's ready. Okay, now the conversion is almost ready. Yes, it's ready. And we have uh, uh, a little bit more than uh, 2 million translation units. So I'll close the converter. And I have my uh, TXT file here, which is a WordFast TM. So let's go to Word and uh, let's uh, select the TM that we just converted, it's on my desktop and uh, DGT and it's uh, here. Open. And now I can go to the data editor and browse through the content of uh, that TM. So we have uh, Finnish on the left hand side and uh, Slovenian on the right hand side. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.